He's never getting out this time. We've got him on 24-7 watching a cell surrounded by anti-climb. Guards at every wall and a state-of-the-art security system so we can make sure he's playing Conan Exiles every minute of every day. And the only way out is a single elevator he can't even reach. We got him now, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I also found that funny. Hey, is this thing on? Can you send somebody down here? I, uh, I filled my shit pot and it stinks. I am not the only one who smells this. I'll get it. Thank you. Hell, I don't even know why we need so many guards. What's he gonna do? Ride up the elevator behind me and just waltz out the- Oh, hey, uh, Raid window just ended. Shit. Yeah, I know, bad timing. So I kind of just walked past all the thralls when they went to change my shit pot. Hey, is that, is that the exit? Why is that open? He wasn't kidding about the smell. I just sort of thought, you know, a little fresh air would do this place some good. I'm free! Later, baiters! <laughs> He's getting away! What do we do? He won't get far. Sin Cletus. <laughs> I, I gotta get out of here! I, I gotta get out of here! I, I can't take it anymore. If I have to play Conan again, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna pay a sign. Stand here to get killed immediately. Now, why would I go and do something like that? Which means you won't have to play Conan anymore. <gasps> Yippee! Wahoo! Hooray! A free, happy day. Put me out of my misery, boys! <laughs> Hey, 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 we don't have time for that. It's hot in here. I gotta get some ice. Well, YouTube, it's time for yet another dose of the intensely mediocre gameplay you've come to know and love on this channel. And earlier than expected, too. More than two uploads a year? Amazing. We're keeping with our biome challenge theme. This time, we're ramping the difficulty way up. In the volcano, many resources you take for granted are extremely difficult to get. Bark, brimstone, crystals, yellow lotus, even basic necessities like water and plant fiber will be precious resources. Even existing at all in the volcano will be a challenge. Combating the heat will be a constant struggle. The rules, just to clarify, are as follows. My base must be within the stated biome of the challenge, and any farmed loot or thralls must come from the same biome. The only time I'm allowed to take resources or thralls from outside of the volcano is if I take them from another player, of which any and all loot is fair game. We're on a PvP server after all, and needs some kind of excuse for player interaction. But with that said, the volcano run begins in the same way every single playthrough always does, with a naked man in the desert. God, my face is flat. Uh, what's up, dudes? We're back. Once again. No, it's cool. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. What do you think of the new fit? I know we usually rock the discount He-Man version, the I ordered He-Man from Wish version. But not this time. There's a method to the madness here. I actually have to make a smaller character this playthrough. And I thought it, it felt a little wrong to go with my, my standard He-Man setup with such a tiny character model. I'm sure you're frothing at the mouth to hear why. Well, this time we're in the volcano. We're doing a volcano challenge, okay? And the volcano sucks for base locations. There's, like, nowhere to build in there. There's maybe one good pillar spot, and that's kind of it. Plus, we're gonna be broke as hell in the volcano. I do not want to lose something to a raid, so we're gonna be stashing our loot, and uh, I know just the spot. I have a perfect, the perfect little cronk hole. I'm just gonna show you where the spot is, so you know what I mean. It's right back here. <laughs> See what I mean? This is so fucking greasy. It's the greasiest little cronk hole. I've had it in my back pocket, my back loincloth for a while. You can crawl in, you can crawl out, you can build in, you can bomb it, you can raid it. It's not under mesh, you can get in and out. You can actually get in and out with a full-size character model too. But part of me's paranoid that I'm gonna be, I can envision this in my mind. I'm gonna be running back with full pockets of loot and I'm gonna get stuck and murdered. So I just wanna make a tiny character so I can just grease in and out. So I can swoosh my way in and out of the cronk hole. 
Provided the spot's not taken anyways. Oh. Oh, big. Big gains. Actually, unironically big gains. Last time we did a we did a jungle run. I, I fudged the rules a little bit when it came to the aloe because I didn't want to have to farm it. And that made a few of the viewers a little bit testy. It's my show, my rules, though, boys. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> but not this time. Actually, this time we're gonna try to stay by the book. We're actually not gonna we're not gonna use the aloe scar. We actually have to farm all of our plant fiber and all of our aloe and all of our yellow lotus and any other plants that we need. So finding a stash of aloe seeds is actually gigantic gains. The other big thing we need this playthrough is a lot of shit. We need poop. I'm fiending for fecal matter. We're cruising for cocoa puffs. Will you cut that out? And not just because I'm a terrible degenerate that plays Conan on purpose, but because we need it for compost, for farming. Now, now that I think about it, the, the amount of stuff we're going to be missing this playthrough, we're going to be missing bark, yellow lotus, missing sticks. We're going to be missing sticks. Yeah, we're going to have to get lucky. So we're we're going to spend a pretty decent amount of time running around in our underwear hoping to get lucky. <laughs> One of many reasons I'm not allowed within 30 yards of the federal building. <laughs> Oh, nice. A weapon. We're doing it. It doesn't seem like much, but we're going to be stealing everything we need this playthrough, including food and water, at least until we get our own set up. We need every little scrap we can get. These daggers are going to get us enough levels to probably carry some loot around if we find some loot. There's people. They're after my seeds. You can't have them. They're mine. My aloe seeds. I think losing the daggers would chafe my loincloth a little bit too. I don't really know what my plan is for experience till I get up there. And for some reason we're not finding rocks. We can't make our own weapons. This, this server's stingy. Oh, you find a sleeper? Can I even get in there? Oh, we can't, it's just completely empty. <laughs> Got my hopes up for nothing. I'll take anything, even the smallest morsel of loot. I'm so poor. I'm so poor. Come a lot. <laughs> Me too, buddy. <laughs> hey, our first poop. It's only five, but you gotta start somewhere. You know, it's weird. Every time I play this game, I, I happen upon an animal pen that's filled with poop. And the one time I need it, I can't find any. I don't mean to sound conspiratorial, but I've got it on good authority that everybody poops. Where is it? Still no poop? The clan name is Pee Pee Poo Poo. Where's the poop? Huh? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. As long as we're on the subject, how do we find one clan called Cumalot and their next door neighbors are Pee Pee Poo Poo? <laughs> Somebody. Did they install Conan on kindergarten PCs? What's happening here? Anime goddesses? Really? The virgin anime goddesses. The Chad pee pee poo poo. The dichotomy of man. It ain't grubs, but it'll do. I don't like this cave one bit. What the hell is even that? That was supposed to sound like a shudder, by the way. It didn't really come out quite right. <laughs> Let's pop this fucker and see if we get some loot. Nothing? Nothing? You know, back in my day a few years ago, you used to be able to scrounge together some fucking loot off these bases. I don't know what the deal is nowadays, but it seems like every time I play Conan, every single base has been picked completely clean. We haven't even found any yellow lotus. You're lucky to get a stick out of your average base these days. I feel like everybody's just despawning it out of spite. Be kind. Leave scraps for noobs like me. Ooh, an exposed altar with 400 favor in it and some sticks. Do I have enough sticks? I have enough sticks, don't I? Maybe I can leave the sticks. I'll, I'll come back for the sticks. The favor is what's important here. We'll stay on task. Make a mental note of that. Oh, 
Ah, the yellow lotus seeds! Let's fucking go. So we have aloe seeds, regular seeds, and yellow lotus. We, we got what we need to get our farm going. And I kind of don't have a whole lot of anything at the moment. And there's no plant fiber in the volcano outside of loot chests. Which means more scouting. I know you guys love it. And even if you hate it, angry comments boost engagement too. Ooh, sinkhole's looking busy. Possibly a good sign. I don't get my hopes up. I mean, <laughs> it's not like... <laughs> I mean, this playthrough's not gonna be like the last couple. <laughs> or the, the one before that. Or the one before that. Or the one before that. Insanity. Or the one before that. No, it's, it, this, this time it'll be different. It's gonna be great. Everything's gonna be great. That's what we needed. That's what we needed right there. Iron for our benches and silver for coins. We could turn the silver into coins, go to the merchant, buy ice, then we can exist in the volcano. That's like one of the biggest things we needed. And there's no iron naturally in the volcanoes. So we need those for our benches. That's actually huge. I, I, we're still incredibly fucking poor and we just have a random hodgepodge of stuff in our pockets, but we're kind of making gains. We're, we have enough to like start playing almost. In fact, n now that we have the silver, we can probably just start heading up to the volcano. I've been putting it off until I have like some way of surviving. Because I tested it in single player. It's, it's kind of a, if, if you can build a sandstone shack up there, that's enough insulation to keep you alive, but you will die to heat stroke on the way in. But now that we have these coins, the playthrough has begun in earnest. I'm gonna stash my shit. We're gonna go grab the obelisk and then teleport up there with it so that we don't risk losing our ever so precious poop and aloe seeds. I had to check before I left. Does this count as farming outside the volcano? Are we are we violating our ever so precious rules? I mean, it's another player, right? Yeah, we're stealing her skin. We're fine, we're, we're in the rules. We're stealing her skin. The two viewers who took our rules very seriously last video, I promise I won't bother you this time. I will not violate a single rule. At least not within the next five minutes. There's still no poop. Not even an ounce of poop anywhere. Who's taking all the poop? We have a poop thief on this server. A poop bandit. They're cleaning this place out. There's not a toilet untouched. We're leapfrogging it, boys. We are leapfrogging it. You know, I was scouting out a different server where I tried this, and uh, I learned my lesson that time I tried to pick up my bedroll and move it with me every time. <laughs> and I wound up dying in between bedroll placements because the placement of these stupid fucking bedrolls is uh, touchy, to say the least. So we're making good use of that lady's skin while we leapfrog our way up. It actually wasn't that hard to get up here. I, I'm celebrating because the last time I tried this, it was very difficult, and it's... T trust me, okay? This is impressive, all right? B be impressed, okay? Throw me a bone. All right. Got the obelisk. I'll go set up a quick shack. We'll go grab our stuff, and then we'll get grinding. It ain't much, boys. But it's honest work. The sandstone cube. The humble beginning of every PvP playthrough. It's kind of cozy in its own way. All right, let's go get our stuff. Right where we left it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even putting my sword on my belt. <laughs> yeah, if we get jumped on our way to the volcano, I'll get him with my, uh, my stone sword and my zero strength. There we go. Now we can really start grinding. This will be a blast from the past for certain players. Way back in the day, this used to be the way that you would play. You'd start off, you'd get stone tools, and you put the iron toolkits on them. Of which I don't have a lot of iron, so this is a, a very calculated choice on my part. But you don't need iron to repair a tool, even if it has an iron kit on there. So you could just run around with stone tools, repairing with stones, and level up pretty quickly. Of course, that was way back in the day. 
these days it's, it still kind of works as long as you're farming the right stuff. I mean, it's going to take me a while. But is it worse than fish trophies? Eh, jury's still out on that. So we get a few more levels. I think we'll take our first trip to the Well of Skelos. I think we're going to have to hit that off cooldown, basically. Because that's going to be our only source of pretty much every scarce resource. You can get you can get bark, you can get twine, you can get plant fiber, you can get straight up aloe and aloe seeds. All the little bits and bobs. We're going we're to find them in there in, in scarce quantities. I mean, ideally... Ideally, we get lucky and find some kind of base or maybe an easy raid to, to kickstart our run. But we'll hit it first, and then we'll go do a bit more scouting. Everybody's favorite. And uh, we'll see what happens. What plant fiber gains? Who else on this earth would be excited to find plant fiber? Can't climb this, huh? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Not like this. Uh, uh. Carefully, Kronk. Carefully. Uh, I don't even know what I'm crouching on. Uh, okay. We're good. <laughs> Had a little panic there. I spent some very important iron on these stone tools. I wouldn't want to waste it. I need some replacement tools before I start throwing this shit away. Let's go! Oh, that's huge! Oh, I need to change your pants! You guys don't understand how much faster my leveling is going to be with this pick. I was legit about to level the 60 with stone tools. This is huge! I don't even want to risk losing this. We're going home now. Trust me, this is going to be big. It's going to be big. Hmm. Oh, I need another change of pants. What a lucky find. That's going to shave, like, who even knows how much time off my grind. Okay, I think it would be wise to take uh, some of the leftover hide we have, make some water skins, go to the wells that we found, steal some water, do a little bit more scouting. And I think that's just how we're going to keep doing it. I'll run the well, then we'll go out scout, come back, run the well again, so on and so forth. And hopefully we make it big. I feel like we didn't find that much, but we did find a set altar with 400 favor in it. Just sitting there, giving me bedroom eyes from the desert. <laughs> Heads filled with possibilities for that one. But we're kind of dry with everything else, though. We're not the... It's going to take some elbow grease. I already used to be able to fish out of wells. I guess they bring that back. kind of miss having a little fish farm on the roof of my base. Little aquarium, little aquaponics system to go with my farming. Okay, hey, sir, 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 leave me alone. All right, I'm looking for loot. Is there, is, actually, you know what, sir? Is there any way I can get you to poop in my hands? I, I, I need it for something. I, I need it for something, please. I need dumb. Can you talk about how weird it is to have a base at the sinkhole? I mean, it's a good enough spot, I guess, but I feel like the noise would drive me insane after a while. Warnings of hackers, flybases, and shit talkers. In other words, we're on an official server. <laughs> oh, I'm not worried at all. I know this playthrough is going to be amazing. Not like the last several years. <laughs> It'll be fine, because if this goes terribly by the time this uploads, uh, I'll be in your walls. Don't run. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Run. Run. Imagine. What's going on in the chat? Betrayal move has 
Pun punishment. Be <laughs> betrayal move has punishment. Be care, Pickle Rick. <laughs> Laugh enough today, and soon you will cry. <laughs> that awkward moment when you have to put your shit talk through Google Translate so it just doesn't come out right. <laughs> One of the many minor enjoyable things about EU servers. Blood Lust? That's the name they went with? Blood Lust? I don't see Blood Feast online. I'm gonna assume they're related, but Blood Lust? Servers filled with like goofball names of pee pee poo poo and come a lot and anime goddesses. My name is Wombalore. Just a random letters I glued together and then these guys are over here. Bloodlust. Playing 3D's Grace on their Aquilonian harp. Sometimes I let the flotsam NPCs cut me just so I can feel something. Bloodlust. Get out of here. I'm actually surprised it took that long for me to do that. Really shocking myself. Ah, fuck! I fucked up the jump! I did it again! You know, like, they have to teach children that the stove is hot, and if you, if you touch it anyways, you're dumb. Well, I've touched the lava twice now. Kronk is a confirmed marble brain. What the? Huh? In the... Huh? Okay, whatever. I don't have the vocabulary necessary to communicate the complex feelings of rage, incredulity, surprise, a little bit of constipation. What the fuck you... No, it's cool. I mean, it's cool. It's, it's cool. It's cool. I love Cody. I love playing Cody. Don't hit me, Cletus. I love playing Cody. Careful this time, Kron. Careful. <laughs> Careful. Uh, oh my god, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's find something else to do. We're wasting our time. <laughs> Just decorating the volcano with my corpses. Besides, the well should be up, and I've got some hot tech for you for getting in there and getting those loot chests okay you have to be careful with this but if you have double jump you can skip this entire dungeon right at this spot and it's, it's just that easy boys of course the catch is if you miss the jump you fall to your death and lose everything but yeah, we're living fast and loose here so far we had made our way to the volcano and we're well on our way to level 60 with a modest home and equally modest stockpile of loot forming, our start was smooth, if a little slower than usual. But the rest of our playthrough would be anything but. And before we would even finish our first day on the server, events would conspire to entrap me in a complex web of drama, alliances, and the ever-present struggles of the official servers. And soon, I'd have to make a choice. One that would irreversibly change the trajectory of this playthrough. In the exiled lands, things are seldom all they seem. On what first appears to be a typical server, something as small as bombing the wrong box can be the beginnings of a butterfly effect with dire consequences. This would be one such server, and while that first domino would not even be tipped by me, it would soon become the entire server's problem, Kronk concluded. Our journey picks up right where it left off, scrounging for scraps in the Will of Skelos. I'm gonna level with you guys. I can't see shit. This is a classic bug where if you go into a dungeon at night, uh, the shadows inside are pitch black. So, uh... I, I promise this was supposed to be big, okay? This was supposed to be a big moment for me. 
I was gonna show you. You could double jump over the thing, run over here, grab like seven loot chests, and then get out. It was gonna speed up my grind a lot. Okay, immensely. Hey, a sword. Our first real weapon. Was it worth fumbling in the dark for 20 minutes? Probably not. Let's get out of here, do some leveling, and come back when the lights are back on. Oh shit. Here we go again. <sighs> Pickle Rick first, JD after. Sounds like we've already got hackers on the server. I've been on the server for one goddamn day. And I got a feeling we're already about to be neck deep in bullshit. Could you not be yourself? For five minutes! Ah! Guys here, can I see who no bows you are? Thick you that it's only one act what I have? <laughs> Well, he's admitting to cheating, but on the bright side, I get to laugh at the uh, the Google Translate attempts. We're learning how to swear in Spanish. Who says video games aren't educational? All right, somebody mentioned a location in the chat. I've I've got to go take a look. My curiosity is killing me. We also got to figure out if this is gonna spill over and uh, interrupt our shenanigans up here. If it's one hacker, we might be okay. But it sounds like there's more than one, and I want to see it for myself. Well, that didn't take long. Seems like half the server's descending on Supermaru right now. Let's go see what's up. Oh, well, there's a hacker from earlier, right? What? I just wanted to see your nameplate. Don't run from the Lord. Ah, so this was the guy. Okay. <laughs> it really is everybody. <laughs> Half the surface naked. I just want to see what's up. What's happening? Oh, oh god. Oh god, they're killing people out here. It's a massacre. Killing random naked, sure, but why good innocent Wombalore? The indignity of it all. I'm going back. I gotta figure out what's happening here. Are you friends with Arch? Yes. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. X is with uh, Blood Lost or Blood Feast. One of those two. It's the same clan, I guess. I was kind of in a joking mood earlier, but I feel like we're uncovering something larger. Because that's a tacit admission that the largest group on the server is playing with hackers. Hmm. The plot thickens. So Penguin Horde, Bloodlust, and Blood Feast are all allied. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he says that as the guy speed hacks in front of me. No, he's right. He, he just had a really good gaming chair, guys. Hello? He apo- I don't know how to interpret that. <laughs> he apologized for killing me. <laughs> Maybe it's the new look. I tried to make myself look like a greasy loot goblin. Maybe it's just doing favors for me. Okay, so get this. I've been reading the chat. <laughs> this is the goop. The reason that these hackers are running around right now is because that Orban guy in the chat bombed an empty box that he thought was left behind by someone who stopped playing on the server. And so Mr. X and all of his butt buddies, they got the whole alliance on plus hackers to raid this guy because he had the audacity to open a box <laughs> that he thought was owned by someone who didn't even play anymore. <laughs> Uh, if that isn't the most coded exiles thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. You thought just because we left the server that you could take our precious pixels? You thought wrong, buddy. Bucko! <laughs> so they got the whole alliance on. <laughs> They're gonna lay into this guy. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate this game, dude. All right, this is where they said shit was going down. I guess we'll post up and see what we can catch on camera. I feel like I'm at a, an autistic safari. Oh, 
Oh, hey. Oh, it's no need for... Is this guy also hacking? This guy's also hacking for sure. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> but I don't even think this guy's with those guys. Happy feet. Happy feet. No, for sure this guy's hacking. 100%. There's no need for violence amongst nakeds. Come on now. What has Wamblor done to justify such violence? Alright, it looks like he gave up. I'm not even going to pretend to know what's going on. I will play the role of the humble observer. Oh, Mr. X joins the fray. Hacker versus hacker. Who will win? I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh, oh, they both fall for it. You hate to see it. Tragedy. He gets away. What's the plan? What are we doing now? Oh, hey, don't take it out on me. You're the ones who lost him. I'm just, wa hey, I'm just watching. What has Womblord done to deserve this? I need Steam IDs. Let me toggle that shit on. Dox myself quick. Hey, I squatted. That means you stop. It's the squad of peace. What barbarian doesn't understand or respect the squad of peace? Better question, your buddy's fighting a speed hacker over there. What are you chasing me for? I've given no indications of being hostile. Yeah, here you go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These fucking guys. Well, now we know why they cheat. They, <laughs> they can't hit for shit. Alright, well, I feel the need to participate. This is a mild rule break, but I'm going to pick up some rocks and make some spears. I just want to throw it at them. We're making an exception. There are speed hackers about. Nice cheat! Recorded! Didn't you... Just admit to bringing speed hackers on the server? Like, literally minutes ago? <laughs> uh, that's the craziest thing when cheaters are, like, complaining about other cheaters. It happens every time, though, without fail. In fact, I'm pretty sure Cuba was complaining about being killed by Arch Enemy earlier and called him a hacker. It's just hackers fighting hackers on this server. Alright, alright, but once again, I'm gonna ask you two to focus, alright? You got a speed hacker in your courtyard. What are you gonna do? You gonna hit him? You gonna chase Wamblor? How many times do I have to squat? What is the deal with these people anyway? Oh hey! What everybody's out to get one? I'm just I'm just recording. I just wanna watch! Damn! Damn, I'm just the cameraman! I guess I'll just start whipping it at the one that's actively speed hacking. Although to be fair, everybody involved in this is uh Kinda scummy. Except for me, of course. I'm squeaky clean. Completely innocent. Okay, this, this, this guy's like a box of rocks. Gerald, for God's sake, can you focus? Speed hacker or naked man with stone spear? Speed hacker or naked man with stone spear? You gotta figure it out, my guy. I don't even think crippling the speed hacker does anything. <laughs> Although to be fair, I think I've crippled all three of them several times. Uh, in my defense. They keep standing in the way. Careful with that. You almost hit me. That's quite big. What the fuck was that hit? Hello? Of course, the one shot that would hit us is from 20 feet away. In any case, we gotta head back there and do our civic duty. Get as much of it on camera as possible and send in a, a thorough report. If you watch my channel and you don't play Conan, you might think it's actually very easy to get somebody banned with how many playthroughs end with everybody getting banned, but uh, 
Uh, it's very easy to bully someone off a server with bullshit reports, but getting hackers banned is surprisingly difficult. It's notoriously difficult. Ah, so we'll get over there and we'll, uh, we'll see what else we can catch, I guess. I gotta say, this server's seeming, uh, more like a clown show by the minute. Now what? I'm not afraid to use this. Oh, squad, finally, we can see reason. See, there was no need for violence. <laughs> no thanks. I enjoy being poor. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, dude, this loot goblin look I've got, people are trusting me a little too easily. I can't take loot from my hacker. I'm greasy enough as it is. Oh, this was the guy that was being threatened earlier. I think I think they're both here. A couple of these guys are. Aha! Caught in the act! Conspiring! How greasy these people are! Oh, come on. What the fuck with the hammer? Didn't we tucker each other out already? Come on already. How naked do I have to be? <laughs> and appeal to peace. I like that the, the hacker was like, okay, you can watch. <laughs> this guy's like, no. Wait, did he really attack me for attacking with the chip? I've got the footage. I can prove my innocence. I was trying to help. Wouldn't hit you so much if he didn't have such a big fucking head. This guy's apparently on the hacker shit list. I'm seeing a lot more of his bodies around here. At least I'm not the only naked still investigating over here. Koana. That guy's in, uh, I'm sure this translates to something, but they're in a clan called Spermy Zeus, and they live out of the, uh, the keyhole. And he's hacking. I mean, that's about as clear an admission as you're gonna get. <laughs> Don't use your speed hacks, he's recording. Okay, so you're admitting you know he speed hacks and you're working with him anyways, and I've got you on camera doing both. Hmm. Oh, yep, and then the obligatory, don't worry, I've got 50 accounts. Seems like every hacker does. And there it is. That's what we came here to see. This is so common. It's what they do is because it's so hard to get people banned for hacking. The hacker will stay outside of the clan that they're actually with, and they'll just exchange loot and help each other out. Because the admins will not ban, you know, Mr. X's clan, even though they're clearly, it's the same group. They're working together. They keep the hacker outside, so only the hacker gets banned. So if he does get banned, all they have to do is replace one account instead of all their accounts. It's just a way of ban evasion. But Detective Kronk is on the case. We're gonna, we're gonna tie up all these loose ends. I think they've had enough of me watching. Another chase. Eventually they will learn. The Wombler will not be discouraged. Looks like they're packing up and moving all this stuff. Now what was that hit? Come on! We're going back in! I need names! I need names! This guy again. I'm squatting for real this time. He needs you put it away. He needs you choose peace. Put it away. There you go. Jesus Christ. See this one I didn't even have to squat? They learned. See, I'm I'm unarmed. I'm, I'm I'm not dangerous. Nothing up my sleeve. Might have a little something up my loincloth. Emphasis on little. I'm not kidding about that part either. <laughs> the collective grief of honest players on these servers. It's a rough fucking ride. Well, YouTube, normally I wouldn't play out a server like this, but uh, I kind of only have this week to play for a little while. And you know what? The part of me is feeling a little, a little spiteful, a little petty, a little indignant. You know, in a way that I don't usually. I don't know if I was just getting stabbed repeatedly. I mean, the, the guy, Mr. X, stabbing me for assisting the cheaters, what he was implying, even as he's playing with the cheater. That fucking, uh, the fucking pick, pick punk guy, whatever his name was. Earlier today, he was like, oh man, who, who cheats in this game when it's so easy? Only to find out he's part of an alliance, like a major alliance of cheaters. 
the, the, it's the fucking audacity of it. You know what it is too? You know what it really is? You know what it really is? In my uh, in my swamp playthrough, if I had a nickel for every stupid fucking comment I read that, that went something like, Yeah, it was a pretty awful server, but I mean, it was really your fault. You could have switched to another server. Why didn't you play on other server? <laughs> These fucking people have no idea. First of all, okay, I shopped around for the server for that playthrough, okay? And I every, every other populated EU server at the time had active hackers on it, okay? So I picked the one that had the least amount of hackers. So even after all that server shopping, we still had hackers on the server. Yeah, th th that's all nice, Kronk, but that, uh, have you tried other server? You have not been hit enough in your life for saying stupid things. You've not been hit enough. Well, this is it. This is this is other server. This is the mythical other server, guys. I, I'll leave it up to you guys. Is this an improvement? Is this? Do you guys think this is better? All right, but enough bitching. I'm gonna keep the bitching to a minimum this playthrough. I'm entitled to a little bit of bitching. We can cover that many hackers at once. Okay, I'm, in, I'm entitled to a little bit. But we are actually out here with a purpose. We're gonna take a closer look at that base at 08, owned by uh, Mr. Exit Clan, Bloodlust. And then we're gonna go see, we're gonna revisit some of the bases of the other people involved. Despite myself, I'm feeling optimistic. I got a feeling we can make a move. Before anybody says anything, I, I know. I could just fly to the top. I am aware. I'm aware that sorceries have been added. Kids these days and their sorceries. Back in my day, you actually had to know how to play the game if you wanted to scale somebody's base. You had to case the place. You had to look for holes in the anti-climb. You had to know what you were doing. It felt like a real accomplishment to make it to the top. I know, that's all cope. I'm just, I'm just, I, I don't like change. Just let me have this YouTube. I, I like shimmying. This server's a mess. I need this. Well, somebody had a stroke when they were doing this anti-climb, so we can, we can definitely get to the top. We're not going to now, because they're all in line, and I want to, I want to keep this tucked away in my back pocket. I've already begun scheming in the back of my mind. I don't want to blow it by giving away this weakness just yet. There's only two other bases I wanted to see before I call it a day. Because it's it's been a long, eventful day, <laughs> to put it mildly. But according to the event log, there's only two bases that are maintaining god bubbles. One is owned by Spermy Zeus, who that, that one hacker was with. And then the, the other bubble is owned by JRX, who uh, Zeri was in a chat earlier. They, they seem friendly with Bloodless, but I don't know for sure. That's why I was assuming Spermy Zeus is at the keyhole. I actually haven't seen their base. I want to look at that one, and I want to look at JRX's base. Let's just see what I can see. I already know Spermy Zeus is working with Bloodless, but I don't know about JRX. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Hmm. Arch Enemy's got a little drop vault here. That base over there with a the bubble on it is JRX. I got a feeling these guys are swap. Oh, God. I swear to God, the green wall is the apex predator of this fucking game. There was a man on that base. He totally watched me just roll into the green wall. I'm so embarrassed. It's the laggiest base so far. Oh my God. Yeah. Tough to read, but yep, Spermy Zeus. Jesus Christ. Help. I've never seen so many thralls packed into the tiny little space. Well, now we know. That'll do. Level 60 after all the shenanigans. Still largely on track for today. But doing some thinking though, YouTube. In light of what we've seen today and our uh, our, our time limit, our unfortunate time limit, I've been, I've been thinking it over. I th I've, I'm ready to make a tough choice. I think if we were on a normal server, we would stick it out with the volcano challenge, but uh, I'm I'm desperate to not have another playthrough that ends in a wet fart. So I think we're just going to have to put the volcano challenge on the shelf for now. I know I promised earlier today that I would not be breaking any rules, but it, it is what it is. I think with a server like this, we got to roll up our sleeves and take it seriously. <laughs> it's the only way to handle this. Mark my words, YouTube, we're doing something about these hackers before we go. Last episode, we discovered the server we were on was filled to the brim with hackers and their collaborators. A difficult situation for anyone to deal with, especially a solo player. With the footage we had, we could at least get some of the hackers banned. But if we really wanted to make an impact, we'd have to find a way to prove they were all working together. 
Detective Kronk was on the case. We would be following the hackers wherever they went, cataloging every bit of evidence, taking screenshots of every name, and watching every chat message. So that maybe with enough evidence, we could get the clans that harbor these hackers rightfully banned. But don't worry, we can't let mods do all the work. And frankly, we can't be sure that any of that's gonna pan out. So at the same time, we'll be working tirelessly behind the scenes, scouting, farming, and planning so that maybe we can do a little bit of raiding ourselves. Unfortunately for us, we'll be playing catch up. Most of the first day was spent either in the volcano or being stabbed to death by speed hackers. So we had a lot of sweating to do to get ourselves back in the game. Our journey continues. With a little explanation as to why the comments keep getting disabled on my last video. I haven't gotten any notifications or emails about this, it just keeps getting disabled. I turn it back on and it keeps going off. I talk to support and apparently, get this, that video violated YouTube's child endangerment rules. Sure, Jan. Bruh. Feels like if there was a real danger, they'd do more than just mildly inconvenience me, but that's just me. YouTube support assured me they'd send me an email explaining more though, and thankfully the email I got really cleared things up, so avoiding this in the future should be pretty easy. Is what I would say if I ever got that email. I did not. It makes me wonder why I bother. Oh right, the beatings. Release me! It plays the Conan, or else it gets the hose again. But since Conan itself seems to be bad for children, I'll do my part to keep them safe. I walked in on him and he was playing Conan. And I thought he was playing Fortnite. I thought he was playing Fortnite. If you or a loved one is currently playing or watching anything related to Conan Exiles, please call 1-800-TOUCH-GRASS now to get help. So remember, YouTube, friends don't let friends play Conan. It's dangerous and could ruin your life. Anyways, our story continues. We're still on the first day of gameplay and we've received a tip that Ares, a completely different hacker from the ones we saw earlier, is killing people at the sinkhole, and we're off to investigate. Oh boy, more hackers. I for one am surprised. Hello? We were too slow. I mean, yeah, they're speed hacking, so <laughs> categorically we're gonna be too slow. <laughs> I'll go take a piss, hopefully he shows himself. I was peeing, I missed it. No, where is he? It doesn't look like he wants to hack for the camera. Maybe he's a little camera shy, but he's calling out another one. Oh, there he is. Hold on, I gotta get a nice vantage point for this. Camera, enhance. Two morons slapping each other at the sinkhole. If that doesn't accurately describe 90% of the PvP in this game, I, I don't know what does. The fact that they're both hackers is just icing on the cake. It's <laughs> still at it. One of them went in the hole. Go, go, go! Here, I see him. Okay. Come on. <laughs> We're rookie detectives, okay? Don't break my balls. So we've got some written proof anyways that they're killing people through walls. We had some earlier today, too. Arch enemy was hitting me from pretty far. It looked like he was pulling my hitbox. I know, the hacker uses other hacks? Like, of course, obviously, right? But it's, <laughs> we need to be, I need to catch it on camera or else Funcom's not going to believe me. So Penguin Horde is not, they're not just friends. They're not passive allies. They're raiding with the cheaters right now as we speak. I think the smoking gun here is if we, if we could catch them raiding together though, like if we could prove that they're actually raiding with each other. I mean, that's, that's assuming we're not just wasting our time in general. Hmm. Kcha, kcha. Protect Gerald for all costs. So I guess the raid's over. They must have finished it already. I don't think, I don't think we're going to catch them all here. I think that's Mr. X, Gerald, and uh, Ricklet. 
Who is this JTF Raven guy? This guy's not even involved. Guys like him are the ones I hate the most on these servers. They have no idea what's happening. Okay, this guy's been level 59 since I joined the server. Okay, I joined still level 50. How, like, I leveled hitting rocks in the volcano. So he's a noob. He has no idea what's happening. No idea how to play the game. But he's got a mouth off in the global chat. He's got to. He's got... Like, why are you complaining about being killed through the walls by speed hackers, huh? Hello? Why, why are you speaking? Like, completely removed from, from, like, cringe red pill stuff, but this is categorically beta behavior, okay? This guy, he literally, <laughs> they, it's the type of person who sniffs out the Alpha Clan and then immediately bends over backwards to try to, like, earn favor with them. It's, it's categorically beta behavior. He's like Worm Tongue from Lord of the Rings, just squatting there. My lord, I saw everything. You were not speed hacking, it was simply lag. D did I do good, master? Did I do, did I do good? 20 bucks says this guy joins them later on. 20 bucks. A million, I would bet you a million dollars. Like, you can just smell the personality type off this guy. He's in Pony PlayStation. He's also not in there. So what are we up to, like, seven clans at this point? Bloodlust, Blood Feast, Pony PlayStation, Friendly Bar, Penguin Horde, Spermy Zeus, and possibly more. Like, how, how many how many clans do you need? The servers only hold 40 people, guys. Oh my god, I can cry! Both of the nodes broke! Get it. It's fixed. Oh, these are the little pick-me-ups we're going to have to cling on to for this playthrough, I think. We need these. We need these! Well, rest in peace, Volcano Shack. You were too good for this world. We'll come back to this another time. I was genuinely looking forward to just having a normal playthrough, but I don't think it's possible to have a normal playthrough in this game. Okay, I, I know I have every, like literally everything I own in my pockets right now, but... Uh, I can't help it. <laughs> I, I see an open... I have to look. If I see an open base, I have to look. There could be loot in here, you two. There could be juice. There could even be big gains. Not even, like, mediocre gains. Big gains. All right, there, there weren't any gains. It wasn't worth the risk. You get some extra. Because you're worth it. Looks like they're raiding Harris. I actually can't go and watch this one because I'm pretty sure Harris is at the anthill and I don't have any climbing gear. But check it out. They're killing him through the wall. Hacks confirmed and Pickpuck's also there. So Penguin Horde is if we needed more proof. They are all literally... I mean, there's like 12 of them online right now. If you count the entire alliance, just going for base to base wiping everybody. All this because one guy opened a chest that was fucking empty. That's what triggered this, this entire fiasco. <laughs> and there's JTF Raven once again, sucking the sweat off a uh, hacker's balls, hoping that he can get in their good graces. My lord, there was no cheating. I saw it with my very eyes. Might I suckle the sweat off thine balls, my liege? Your grace? I'm upping the bet. A billion dollars this guy joins them. A billion dollars. Hey guys, check this out. You know the spot I picked to uh, pump out all my resources and do all my farming? You know, my, my sandstone shack with all of my goodies in it? Look who we built under. I think it's time to move. How tragic would it be if we farmed all this up and then they just like descended from their base and took it all? Would not be out of place for a Conan playthrough for me though. If you've noticed a decidedly whiny tone overtaking the first half of this video, I'll confess. By the end of the first day, I was getting a little cranky. Not only was our fun idea for a playthrough ruined, but we were stuck watching as an entire server of hackers went from base to base, wiping anyone off the server that didn't bend the knee. And the chat was filled with lapdogs harassing anyone that had a problem with it. To make matters worse, we couldn't even get the proof we needed. Every raid was either just out of reach or over just before we got there. Our playthrough felt like it was slipping away from us. But that's not to say that we weren't productive. We farmed so much that I had to expand the shack multiple times. We had thousands of building materials crafting and even a few hundred dragon powder on the way. 
Inventory after inventory of farm was being stuffed into our little cronk shack, so much so that I figured I could afford to pack everything away for a raid window and just focus on catching these cheaters in the act. If we could get the proof that they were all working together, then we could comfortably start thinking of doing a raid ourselves. Before calling it a day, we sent in our first report containing screenshots of every relevant name and footage of the hackers we had seen so far, along with Mr. X's confession of knowingly working with the hackers. An open and shut case, but we wanted more. After a full meal and a bit of sleep, we were back at it and feeling a lot better. <sighs> Good morning, YouTube. I feel much better now. God, I was getting so pissed yesterday. <laughs> As you can see though, the base is in stealth mode. We have stashed everything that we own. We've left just enough to make it look like a believable little noob shack. You know, you got some plant fiber, a couple of bees, the classics, a random dancer thrall. Just so if anybody bombs in, they'll be none the wiser. I think we'll go out, get a little plant fiber, a little bit more rocks, just to, you know, make it look a little bit more realistic. And then we'll head out and start looking. I've heard that they have another ally up in the frozen north called Barbarians that we're going to look at. And then we're just going to, like, stare at the chat. The minute there's a raid, we're going to be on it. God, I needed that reset, though. I was, I was, I filtered through a little bit of the footage from yesterday. I was getting so grumpy. It was like six hours of me just mumbling about the state of this server. The absolute state, some would say. I think it definitely didn't help that I spent the entire day playing Conan. I only planned on playing for a little bit and then, you know, just packing my stuff up. But with everything that happened, obviously, I got stuck playing, so. <laughs> Hey, Kronk, what did you do with your time off? I spent nine and a half hours hitting virtual rocks. And then I went to sleep, and then I woke up, and, and immediately did it again. That's cool, though. That's cool. I'm, we're ready today. I'm refreshed. I, I brought my clown makeup, my multicolored afro, my size 28 rubber shoes. I'm ready to play another day of official Conan. I don't know what to think about this base. It's a series of cubes. Surely there's a world where I can climb over this tree and just jump on the top, right? What? There's no... Actually, no, I remember the trees not having collision on the top. It's been a while since I've had to use a tree. Am I not old enough? The wise mystical tree isn't allowing me in. If you're level 25 or higher, you must climb this tree. Oh shit, there it is! Get the van! Go, 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 go! <laughs> I'm swimming as fast as I can! Although I did take the scenic route. I wanted to scout these islands on the way up. Got him. Oh, thank God, I hear explosions. We're not too late. My God, my face is flat. Go, 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 go. I need names. I need names. Ricklet, okay. I'm upping the bet. A billion dollars this guy joins them. A billion dollars. <laughs> Speedy, say hi to the camera. Ramel, say hi to the camera. Who else is here? Who, who we got? Mr. X, the fucking dynamic duo. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> the gang's all here. They've stopped murdering me, at least. Proof that if you squat hard enough, even hackers become docile. Oh. And arch enemy, of course. Classic. What is the whole... What are we doing? We cannot break it because of... These guys don't know how god bubbles work? That's uh, cool. They've only been in the game five years. It's okay. Take your time. Did they buy the game yesterday? That makes the hacking even more pathetic. I was wondering why they were shooting the bubble when I got up here, but I guess they literally just don't know how it works. I guess you probably don't have to learn how the rating works when you got, you know, 15 people plus hacks. Let's back up before they get suspicious. Oh shit. There's more of them. Looks like, yep, Penguin Horde's online. That's who we're looking for today. More than anybody else. These guys are really struggling to figure out the whole God Bubble thing. I mean, you'd think after a couple arrows hitting the bubble and doing nothing, they'd, you know, put two and two together. They're not even using poison arrows. God, these guys are actually noobs. Like, li categorically, literally noobs. 
Oh, hello. Well, if it isn't Kozladoy, the other solo player sucking these guys' balls the other day. What, what a coincidence to see him here. I guess he also thinks I'm just a harmless observer. Uh, they'll learn soon enough, but uh, we'll let them ignore me for now. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> so the guys on the pillar, that's Pickpock and Zurok. Otherwise known as Penguin Horde. Don't want to say I told you so, but I fucking told you so. Yeah, wow. Every toxic dude that was running damage control for the hackers yesterday winds up raiding with them today. What an all surprised I am on a scale of 1 to 10. I'll give you a hint, it's zero. And there's Pickpuck. Everybody we needed to see in one little place. Aw, look at that. They've even got their own cringe little Discord. The server can only hold so many tumors, guys. You can't bring Discord, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus I think two more at least. They got 12 people here to raid two people. Well, we got what we came here for, but uh, I kind of want to watch it and see how it goes. Pretty sure I've actually got some popcorn nearby. Let me, let me, give me, give me one second. Okay, let's settle in and uh, watch a nice cozy raid, shall we? It's gonna be like watching NPCs raid. Let him cook. Let him cook now. They seem stumped. I mean, surely you just fly up there and start bombing, right? What, what's the what's the confusion? <laughs> That's what the delay was for. They couldn't figure out how to get up there. You can fly. They couldn't figure out how to get up there. You can fly. I watched you fly. <laughs> and there's the guy bobbing through the roof that goes nowhere. They they don't know what the structure looks like. What is the plan? Oh, damn. They're learning. <laughs> they repaired it. <laughs> They got 12 people in there that can't, uh, they don't have anybody standing in the breach. <laughs> that is the third time the defenders have killed somebody and pushed them all off the base. How do you how do you lose that with this kind of a numbers advantage? Like how do, how do you do that? Is it on purpose? Do they know I'm watching? Is it for the funnies? <laughs> they repaired again. Remember, guys, these are the alphas. All right, these are we, we've got very dangerous men in this raid. Quake in fear, bend the knee lest they come after you. Can anyone explain to me why they've spent the last hour and a half bombing the anti-climb when they can literally get over the anti-climb with the ice bridge? Like, they literally are already over it, and they keep bombing it. <laughs> it's like, man, if only we could get past this anti-climb! Let me climb on top of it with my ice bridge so I can get a better view. Maybe we can crack the code. Like my man. <laughs> really good defending. I mean, I, you know, props to those guys. They are holding on really well. But I mean, is it good defense or bad offense? I think you could make a case for either or here. All right, that, that's enough voyeurism for the day. We got to get out of here. We got stuff to do. We got what we needed. Let's get out of here. It's a bubbled ceiling base anyways. I can't remember if that structure has the little bits in the corner where you can put bombs, but they'll crack through it eventually. It's fitting though, it's a bubbled ceiling base. It's just cancer versus cancer. Hackers versus ceiling base. And the guys inside, if you guys recognize those names, those guys were in Admirals from a couple playthroughs ago. It's like in an alternate timeline where we're not being abused by hackers and the server would instead be abused by the unemployed. <laughs> you can't win with this fucking game. <laughs> Aren't they putting 80 hours a week into raiding sandstone? Can't win. They just can't win. Some poor intern at Funcom is gonna have to filter through the 
17 pages worth of report information I've sent over the last two days. <laughs> Better believe I'm using my YouTube email for this. There, If there was ever a time for me to use my YouTube cloud, this would be it. Hopefully speed this ticket along. I have almost 30,000 tar cooking right now. <laughs> From a single trip to the, uh, the Midnight Grove. One single clear. The bear pelts are still stretching. Is this the game we need to cheat in? I mean, how easy does this game have to be? Clear Brimstone Lake once, get 30,000 Brimstone, uh, run the Midnight Grove once. I mean, what, in like a half hour, you have enough materials for 800 bombs? This is the game we need to cheat in? How easy does the game have to be, guys? What the fuck? The servers are on 4X. This game has never been easier. Run to the correct dungeon and print out 10,000 steel for a base. Still have to cheat, though? <laughs> Uh, something about coded, man. It just seems to attract all the degenerates. Is it the penis slider? Is that it? That's what brought me in. There. Now we're not living on the front porch of our enemies. He's a little safer over here. As if I needed another reason to get off this server. I I'm going as fast as I can. You look at that. Horse carcass out of the Zath bag. I think I'll keep it. Our literal first run through the camp. Tell me that's not fate, guys. This server's trying to force feed me. Of course, as I say that, I look at the chat. Jesus Christ. I gotta get off the server, man. <laughs> you know, I had a skit planned for Igor for this playthrough. I can't do it to him. He deserves better. Igor deserves a better server than this. He's been through enough. I put him through too much as it is. We're just about ready to make some moves, YouTube. <laughs> we got another one. Hello? Oh my god! We got the crafting bug. Exploiters the world over have been trying to figure out how to do that on purpose, and nobody's been able to figure it out. Every so often, when you when you click play on a crafting station, it cracks it instantly. This time, it happened to crack our priest immediately. <laughs> this, this server's really trying to force feed me some ammo. Well, now this is just getting silly. I'm actually at the point where I might just start killing the main priest. I don't, I don't need that many. I don't have enough fa I have barely enough favor to summon one, let alone the four that it's throwing at me. As the server continued to fester and as the rot developed behind the scenes, we had made huge strides. Hundreds of explosives and more named priests than we knew what to do with. We had finally broken out of our early game slump, and what's more, we managed to finally catch them all raiding together on camera instead of in the global chat. With our report sent, we had made the lawful move, but the Wamblower was done being a passive observer. And even as the server filled with yet more cheaters, our vigilante justice was just around the corner. Next episode, the mask comes off, and the once peaceful observer will raid the Hacker Alliance directly. From the very beginning, this run was painful. From being slaughtered in the desert, to watching roving bands of hackers wipe half the server. The more we uncovered, the worse things seemed to get. Gloating in their victories, these cheaters surely felt invincible. But we had seen everything. From a safe distance, we recorded and cataloged every movement until we had them red-handed. And now it was just about time for us to steal a victory of our own. Today, we take the law into our own hands, and by the end of the day, we would pay them back for derailing our run. Safe and sound. 
I'm sure you're probably wondering why I've got all my belongings, including my god favor, rotting in a box on the side of a cliff. <laughs> I couldn't be out for the raid window today. I figured it was better to lose some of the favor to rot than to lose all of it to a bomb. So you know, we live in a sandstone cube. Not exactly an expensive deterrent. Imagine the raid returns on that one bomb, walk away with 400 dragon powder, a thousand favor, four named priests. <laughs> but not today, it seems. We've almost got more loot than we know what to deal with, so it's about time we started using this. I don't want to brag or nothing, but uh, off camera, I got all my sorceries done. We got enough materials for like a thousand raid bases. <laughs> I hate to say it, but we've been <laughs> flying through the grind. <laughs> That's a bat pun, because it lets you fly. <laughs> I know. How do I stay so fucking witty? If I ever figure it out, YouTube, I'll let you know. Got a lot of work ahead of us though, boys. We need to A, build a gigantic raid base for our altars, keep them safe, and let them craft the god coin. We have to actually craft the favor items that give zeal, which is a couple hour process. We're gonna head over to our, uh, our enemy's bases, give them another thorough scouting. I kind of already got a raid plan in the back of my mind, but I'm not quite sure about the details yet. So we're gonna take another look and get a plan going. And then we gotta move all of our loot around, we gotta, you know, set up our stashes. It's, it's gonna be, a, it's, it's a lot of prep. I was gonna raid them today, but I just did not have the time to prepare. So let's do some preparing, YouTube. We wanna be perfectly situated though, cause I wanna hit them the, the microsecond the raid window opens tomorrow. Your biggest chance of success is right as the window opens, because if you wait till everybody's situated and ready, I mean, you gotta catch them with their pants down. Very similar to my mating strategy. What do you mean by that? Allegedly. I over farmed a lot, though, for building materials. This is probably the only raid base we're gonna need. It's not really a raid base. I feel like I've explained the concept a lot of times, but this only really needs to be tanky enough to survive long enough for me to use the altars. So I probably won't go too crazy with it. I'm gonna use two gods, and I can't do them back to back. I have to stagger them, because I'm hitting, I'm gonna hit two bases. Uh, which means it needs to survive at least a couple more. Uh, decisions, decisions, YouTube. We're gonna have to beef it up a little bit, I guess. Sandstorm rolling in to give us a nice cinematic building footage. You love to see it. Always love the way that looks. Looks foreboding, imposing even. It's like metaphorically the storm clouds are rolling in. I mean, yesterday the server force fed me four named priests and then instantly cracked one. So I, I feel like I've got fate on my side. That can't reach me, right? Okay, it reaches. We gotta build faster, boys. Speed it up. It burns. Uh, see, it's coming together. Look at that thick little pillar. Looks a little goofy from this angle, though, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like a like a matchstick. Or that old fish from SpongeBob that hated chocolate. Did someone say chocolate? Tragedy. We're not in it for the beauty points, boys. Especially not with this face. All right. Favor's cooking. Server's empty. Let's go hit the streets. All right, see, I use sorcery. Now, nobody can complain. I, I did it. I did the flying thing. Scouting this is a little redundant, because we know we're going to hit this target, but we're looking for something. I'm taking you along for the trip. We're casing the place. I want to know exactly where their benches and their storage are, so we make sure we hit those. Because this is bloodlust. These are the main cheaters. We have to hit them today. The rest of it is up in the air, but this place, for sure. I'm going to crawl on it. Got to put our ear on the wall. Listen to it like you check an avocado. Wait, am I stupid? You don't do that, Dad. I've never bought an avocado in my life. Full disclosure. Am I crazy? What the? There, there is a there is a, a fruit or a vegetable that you do that though, right? You don't listen to avocados. That wouldn't even make sense. Oh uh, yeah, there it is. The telltale sign of a blacksmith thrall. I hear it hammering away in there. So it's on the far side of this pillar for sure. We'll check the other ones just to be safe though. Kind of weird that there's so much anti-climb on the other pillars, though. You kind of don't need it. I mean, you only need it if you're going to connect them with elevators, but, like, you need one ring to climb. Coconuts. Coconuts are the ones you listen to. That's... I was, see, I wasn't crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Or at least if I am crazy, the avocado thing is not proof of it. Okay, it's not sufficient proof. 
like I was saying, you don't need that much anti climate code. You just need to claim it. That's that's a lot of wasted. I'm not even talking about lag. There's just a lot of wasted resources. And for all the, the anti climb they got all over this place, there's a whole strip up the middle of one of these pillars that connects to the main pillar with an elevator that has no anti climb on it. There, there were some guys that climbed up here yesterday. And of course, Mr. X was like, Are you guys hacking? So they didn't hack. You guys are just bad. Somebody had a stroke while building your anti climb. It's all gap up the side. Well, I'm sufficiently convinced. These other pillars have nothing in them. I see like one or two benches. We hit the main pillar, and then we move. Actually, before I go, how high can you fly with one of these bad things anyways? Jeez, that's high. How high did I go? Help! How many minutes I've been falling for? I wanna go home! I wanna go home! Can we get much higher? So high! I, I missed the floor, guys. I I've been standing on the ground. I've had enough uppies. Put me down. Put me down. Oh, thank God I can see the ground. We are not doing that again unless we think there's something up there. <laughs> Holy smokes. What was that five uninterrupted minutes of just straight falling? Jesus. Oh my god, my frame rate. We need to raid this one just for the lag it causes. What the fuck even is this? It's gotta be a trillion building pieces and torches in here. It seems to be consistent with their bases, though. They have a roleplay base over in the jungle that's the same way. It's just thousands of placeables. Just fucking unreal frame rate drops when you get near it. It's amazing how lavishly a duo can live when they're allied with 17 other people to cheat. I don't hear a whole lot in this base, though. I don't hear any crafter thralls, at least. I feel like I hear some thralls in there standing around, but... Actually? That might be perfect, actually. They have another base over by the sinkhole, which is sandstone on the outside, but tier three on the inside, it's that big cave. Now that I think about it, that's actually perfect. <laughs> it's all coming together, boys. I'll take another look at that sinkhole base, but I, I think I have the plan down. We just have to do a little more prep, move our stuff around, and then get some sleep for the big day. Did this guy really get banned? hop on a new account and build an identical stash right next to the other one. They're not even going to try to hide it. <laughs> uh, this server, man. I got to get off this server. This may look like basic scouting, but we were looking for something specific. A piece of information that would radically change our raid target. But I'll explain that in a minute. See, we were still picking our targets for the big raid. Raiding every clan in the Alliance was out of the question with how many there were, so I decided to focus on the main belligerents. Bloodlust, Bloodfeast, and Penguin Horde. These were the clans that were actively going around raiding everybody. It's not that I didn't consider hitting the others, but for bases like the Keyhole or even JRX, mechanically speaking, sure, we could just walk up and try bombing it. But that's the kind of raid that would take time and a lot more bodies. The minute we start bombing or killing anybody, the Hacker Alliance would collapse on us. Even if we were PvP gods. And we're not. Getting swarmed by half a server's worth of people plus hackers is more than a lone fighter can handle. I'm greasy, not a miracle worker. In fact, that exact scenario happened earlier. The group I had mentioned while scouting that had climbed in a bloodless base and fought them had made great progress until the cheaters collapsed on them. We saw evidence of the raid attempt ourselves, but that begs the question. How are we, by ourselves, gonna raid people that can speed hack, kill you through walls, and pull your loot out of locked containers? The answer is carefully. Our first god would go to Bloodlust. There aren't a lot of safe locations to summon from at Heliograph Heights, so we'd have to summon in the open in a place with no building allowed and no protection, hence why it would need to be first. We needed the element of surprise. We wouldn't have time to stay in loot though, or we'd get swarmed, so immediately after, we'd grab our second coin and head to Penguin's base by the unnamed city. We could build a bit of protection here, which is why we'll hit it second. But you may be wondering, why target the unnamed city base, when we've got good reason to believe it's unimportant and possibly even empty, especially when we know where their real base likely is? It's simple, because both gods are a distraction. 
The real target of the raid was their super secret stash location that I've known about since the very beginning and kept secret until just this moment. In fact, the attentive among you might have already seen it. Remember how I told you where I was going to stash my loot in the volcano? It was one of the very first spots that I scouted in my playthrough, but in the very first episode you can see, the spot is claimed, and the owners were none other than Penguin Horde. Now, how do I know this is a loaded secret stash? Well, that's where our scouting comes into play, and that information I was talking about. In Conan, whenever an enemy player damages a structure you own, you can see it in your event log. But if you own multiple bases like these guys do, it can be tough to pinpoint where the attack actually took place at a glance. The solution is to build each base out of a different material. This will let you know immediately where the raid is based on what type of structure is being destroyed. This is what we were looking for while scouting last night, and I confirmed what I had suspected. Every base owned by Penguin Horde was made of black ice exclusively, except for this location. Clearly, somebody wanted to keep an eye on it. But that's not all. Directly underneath the stash, they had built a decoy cube. Anyone scouting for bases using land claim would detect the stash, but they would assume that the cube was the culprit. If they didn't know about the cheeky stash just behind it, they'd have no reason to suspect that anything else was here. Effectively, it hides one base's land claim inside another's, a technique that demonstrates they really want to keep this stash secret. So the location itself was suspicious enough. Very few people know about it. But once you throw in the decoy base and the use of hardened brick, well, I've been playing this game a while and I know loot when I see it. And let's say I was just reading too far into it and it was actually completely empty at the end of the day. They filled my cronk hole and they didn't even take me to dinner first. I had to raid it on principle. So the real purpose of the two god coins is to buy us time to raid this stash and pull them away from the main base. And we hit their side base instead of their main so they don't panic and run to the stash to resupply, meaning we can take it all for ourselves. And hopefully, if they followed me from raid to raid, we'd be able to rotate back to the first base once we were done with the stash to cause even more mayhem, while they were hopefully chasing me elsewhere. Today, the Wamblor strikes back. The first coin. The point of no return. Everything's been taken care of. I set up the stash above the dregs for the second god summon. I moved all my stuff to the frozen north. The bombs are ready. I got a bed set up. Bed rolls are all situated. <sighs> we just need to make it through the day without doing something stupid. Hopefully Igor's looking out for us. It'll be fine. I, you know what? I feel good today. You have to believe you can win before you can do it. You gotta believe it. Confidence is key. Please don't crash. 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 Please. Please. Please don't crash. Oh my god, it's actually happening! Go, 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 go! Before we crash, there's something else stupid happen. Fucking finally, let's go! Get in there! Two quick things while I furiously left click in the background. Firstly, when controlling an avatar, you can see the clan chat of everybody online. I have to explain this every time it happens, or else people start getting conspiratorial in the comments. It's okay, gods have only been in the game five years. If you don't know how they work by now, you'd be in good company on this server, I think. Secondly, when servers are sufficiently laggy, sometimes at the end of your timer, the god will stick around for a few extra hits. For once, the server lag would be on our side. Ooh, bonus round, you love to see it. And it all comes crumbling down! <laughs> lag coming in clutch. Absolutely body. Well, rest in piss, dweebs. We got places to be. God, the stress. <laughs> Hurry, Kronk. Hurry! Check the map to make sure I was facing the right direction. <laughs> if we summoned it backwards, we were gonna look really stupid. Not that I've ever done that before. Oh, thank God we're facing the right direction. <laughs> it's tough to tell on those cubes. God damn this green wall. If it's not killing me from 12 feet away, it's cucking me out of my raid footage. Whatever, put some B-roll over this. Another bonus round! It's about fucking time we had some smooth summons. Yeah, we demolished it. Half of it anyways. Well, 
we got half of it anyways. Let's type something stupid and keep moving. Talk shit, talk shit! Ew. That pillar is gone. That's two of them we leveled. Gotta love seeing JTF in the chat. It's, it's not over. We, we can rebuild, it's not over. You're right, it's not. I've got a couple hundred bombs still. Gotta top off our gruel, of course. Can't raid on an empty stomach. Been waiting to crack this thing open for a long time. 50 bombs to start, just to be safe. If our distraction holds out and they don't respond, we bring the rest of the boom. <laughs> just cram them in there. As many as we can fit. I'll stuff every bomb I got in here if I have to. Kind of an unusual amount of layered fur. So far we haven't heard from them though. Not even in the global chat, they are suspiciously quiet. Let's go get some more bombs and uh, hopefully the loot improves the deeper we go. I, I gotta go, I'm trusting my instincts on this one. I feel good about this. I'm just amazed we got the two gods off without something stupid happening. Compared to how how every other run has gone in the last who knows how long. I feel like I just survived the opening sequence of a Final Destination film. Like I was supposed to have something stupid happen and I just lucked out and I'm gonna have to pay for it somehow. Tell you what though, YouTube, that sounds like a problem for future me. <laughs> Today we're winning. Very, very promising. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Like this is still pretty, it's still pretty bad. Okay, don't get me wrong. This is bad loot so far. The steel fire's nice. I'll take the steel fire. But the more layers we peel off this onion, the juicier it gets. Although the angle is making it tough to actually damage everything down here. I'm gonna probably wind up spending a lot of explosives, but I got a feeling, YouTube, it's gonna be worth it. Oh, very nice. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> we picked the right spot, boys. This is gonna get, this is gonna be so thick by the time I'm done with it. I guarantee it. I'm gonna have to set up a couple more boxes at my stash. Oh my God. Yeah, we're gonna need those boxes. We're gonna need those boxes fast. Who summoned an avatar? What? I typed in the chat, didn't I? These guys are way behind me. Very nice. You know what that means though, right? If you've got chest full of steel fire and chest full of tar, if it's not this layer, the next one's gonna have dragon powder. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. And we're not gonna bring home all this tar. We have storage problems as it is. It's like the third full container of tar we've seen. Is that really not close enough to set him off? Where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. All right, I guess we gotta move our bedroll up. We gotta go down there and set the bombs off ourselves. And I don't think we can climb out in time. Okay, back to bombing. Oh my God, we live! Maybe we didn't have to move our bedroll after all. Nah, I'm just kidding, I would never take that risk. Oh yeah, no, there's, there's no way we're climbing out in time. <laughs> the bedroll was the right call. And we're in the green. Didn't I say? Didn't I say there was gonna be dragon powder? Yeah, yeah, this last layer was fucking loaded. What did we get all together? We got name thralls, demon blood out the ass, we got ichor, we got explosives, tar, steel fire, an entire box of steel reinforcements, and then another two boxes of just steel. I would have preferred a bit more dragon powder as payment for stealing my spot, but you know, that's just me being a little petty. Yeah, the, uh, the loot situation, getting a little out of control. Uh, our, uh, <laughs> our stash that's supposed to be hidden behind this rock is kind of 
overflowing on the mountainside here. <laughs> Speaking of loot, though, let's go see how our buddies are doing at Helograph Heights. They'll stop by, say hi. If they're not uh, crawling actively on the base, we'll take some of this dragon powder we just won and uh, do something with it. The night is young, and I'm feeling a little devious. With our minds filled with devious intent, we made our way over to the jungle to see how things had developed. But on our way, we noticed something a little peculiar. And if you can believe it, our night was about to get even better. As it turns out, all of our investigative scheming from the last few days was about to pay off in a big way. And with some of the best timing I could hope for, all at once, our schemes converged to bring about a total victory. So, uh... I noticed something a little weird, YouTube. I'm, uh, I'm on my way over to uh, Heliograph Heights. Uh, opened the player list. Wanted to see how many of them are still crawling around. And uh, they changed their clan. And at first I was like, okay, they changed their clan name. Sometimes people do that, right? But they joined the clan that's living out of the keyhole. And they changed their clan name, too. And I thought, that's a little odd, isn't it? A little, a little peculiar. Check the map. Their altar's gone. And I thought, hmm. Did I destroy that in the raid? I did have a very long god summon. <laughs> So I, I thought for a second, I was like, hmm, what could be happening here? And I, I had the idea to check my email. Looks like we uh, we just got a response from the admins on the tickets we've been sending in about these guys. <laughs> what do you think happened, YouTube? Let's go, let's go see if I'm right. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. They got banned! That's the first time I've been happy to say that in fucking years. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, what the... Why would they switch clans? What happened? What's going on here? Holy shit. Imagine the one-two punch. We raid them. Demolish their base. Demolish their allies' base. Rob them blind. Come back, they get banned because we were the ones following them around the last couple days. What a, what a complete and total domination. Actually, you know what? I know what to do. I know how to rub this in. You know what my favorite part about this is? That JTF Raven guy, the fucking big mouth dude just shitposting in the global all day? He joined the cheaters just in time to get banned with him. That's fucking beautiful. What a beautiful day to be playing Conan, huh? <laughs> what an amazing raid day. Everything went off without a hitch. Perfection. Perfection from start to finish. <laughs> and who's in the chat too? He's like, we can rebuild. It's not over. We can rebuild. Mm, I don't think so, JTF. I don't think so. Might want to amend that statement, my friend. Trust me. Give me a second. This is gonna be, this is gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth the wait. <laughs> okay. Toxic, yes or no? Toxic, yes or no? And before you answer, there's a hole in the tip of the penis so I can shoot out of it and make it look like I'm pissing on it. Toxic, yes or no? <laughs> Wiped him and built a penis on the base. You can't. It doesn't get any better than that, boys. For once, everything went perfectly. In what might be the best timing ever, just as we finished our big raid plan hitting multiple bases all over the map, our main enemies are banned before our very eyes, and once the server restarts, they'll all have to find new accounts to play on. But our story isn't over yet. Seeing them merge clans in a desperate attempt to save their loot told me they'd be on new accounts in no time, and the Womblor wasn't going to let them get away with it. As you know, I'm a remarkably petty man. To complicate things further, somebody I have bad history with would join the server soon, and threaten to jeopardize all we've worked for, finding and giving up our stash locations in record time. Next episode, we make our greasiest play yet, and put the final nail in this playthrough's coffin. Last episode, we brought destruction to the clans that had wronged us. Chests upon chests of loot was stolen, and more than a few bases were no longer there. But our enemies had already merged their clans and begun to rebound. And in a dark turn of events, they would soon find one of my stashes. Though find isn't quite the word for it. They were led there by someone. A new figure, someone yet to be seen, had me in their crosshairs and they would find my hiding spots one after another, eventually leading my enemies straight to my home. At first, it would seem that the server would have me pay back my success, if only for that strange new element. Could it be that they and I have history? 
Could it be that I knew this person? Well, of course I know him. He's me. Give me a second to explain. See, many of you have asked me how it's even possible to fight hackers that have ESP, speed hacks, and can hit you through walls, and the honest answer is, you really can't. But that's only if your definition of PvP ends at Ungabunga right-click at the sinkhole. I knew that after deleting multiple bases and tons of loot, they'd be so desperate for revenge, they'd take help from just about anybody. Perhaps even if that person was me. So I had an idea. Suppose I hopped onto another account, and pretended to find my own stash locations. What if I even left a little bit of loot in them to make it believable? So not only would I be the poison, the antagonist, but I'd also be the antidote and the hero. And once my scheme has paid off and I've earned their trust, I could get them to admit to further cheating. Not only would we get some of them banned twice, we'd be clearing out even more cheaters we missed the day before. And it wouldn't cost us a single bomb. Today, our story continues, and Detective Kronk goes undercover. Well, it's been a beautiful day, boys. Beautiful raid, beautiful success. But we gotta do something painful. Believe me, it hurts me too. I know, I, get, I feel it. But we're dealing with hackers, which means they can use ESP clients to find, they can find our boxes and they can unlock them at any time. It doesn't have to be the raid window or anything. Which means it's only a matter of time before they find this, which also means we're gonna have to despawn it. I know it's painful, but I don't want them getting any of this loot back. It is what it is. Kind of an insane amount of loot to despawn, though. If, if, if I took that steel fire and the tar and all the rest of it and combined it into dragon powder, easily a couple thousand dragon powder total. Rest in peace, loot. Under different circumstances, I would have loved to use all that boom. But I have a plan. Well, enough of that. Let's go put a skirt on. Whenever you want a bunch of dweebs to treat you nice, Make a girl character. Works every time. Reminds me of playing that sorceress in Diablo 2 back in the day. Even though you can't choose your gender in that game, people just assume you're female and start throwing stuff at you. <laughs> you just kind of have to be like, Oh, thanks, but I think I'm a little too much woman for you, pretty boy. <laughs> Did I keep the stuff? Yeah, obviously. Enigma's expensive. I'm not doing crew ass runs any longer than I have to. Heather... Because we can't just be Heather, right? It'll, it'll work. It'll be fine. I think I should do a little bit of leveling first. If I go over there at level 1, like right off the bat and find it, it's going to be a, a little suspicious. We're going to start off slow. Build our relationship, and then when we've got them, you know, we'll be a little more risky. I might even wait till tomorrow to show the stash. Isn't, isn't it kind of suspicious to do it the same day of the raid? It seems rather foolish to just try to do it on the same day. Alright, I, I got impatient. Fuck it, we ball. I want to start them off with an empty one. I want to see how they take the bait first. These guys don't strike me as exceedingly intelligent, though, so I, I think it'll work out. Oh, it's horrible. This Wamblor man has taken my base location. If only there were some strong young men on the server to help me get my location back. A young, beautiful woman such as myself would be very appreciative. <laughs> he thinks it's two to three people. Aw, oh, they destroyed your base and built a big penis on it. What a bunch of meanies. Couldn't be me. Already speed hacking. Love to see it. Oh, that was Koana. That guy must have got banned for a few days ago. Ka -cha, ka -cha. Building our evidence. Yeah, he's not even trying to hide it. In the time it took me to climb up here the old-fashioned way, he climbed up and over the ridge. Obviously speed hacking. Well, well, look who it is. He's all smiles now, but give me time, boys. Let me cook. Let me cook. Oh, my God. We made identical characters. One of us is going to have to change. All right, I've been finessing him for a little bit, working him over. So far, they've been very receptive. They don't seem to be suspicious of anything yet. I might even get some free shit out of this. If it keeps up, we'll proceed as normal. And we'll start bringing the loot out. Thankfully, a lot of them showed up, so we do have them on camera witnessing their teammate hacking, so they're aware of it. I think we'll send at least a report for uh, Anubis, is what he's calling himself now. <laughs> he gave me the pick. <laughs> Thanks for the pick, asshole. If only he knew he was giving it to. 
We'll keep investigating, though. I want that laggy keyhole base wiped. If we can pull that off, I'll consider this a win. Playthrough done. We did our bit. Okay, first of all, imagine. <laughs> They're paying me for the spot! We're in! We're totally in. These guys are buying it 100%. Oh yeah, we are going to put the screws to these guys over the next day or two. <laughs> They're paying me for showing them my own spot. Oh, it's empty? No way. Golly. If only someone had known, then they wouldn't have wasted their time. How unfortunate. Oh, you know what? I should go back and check. Because if they unlocked the boxes with hacks and then just left the boxes there... That's important evidence. How much you want to bet they actually did that? <laughs> These guys are so fucking dumb. <laughs> oh, the boxes were empty. Yeah, hmm, that's weird because the boxes are still here. What do you guys think, YouTube? Do you think they used their excellent deductive reasoning skills to guess what was in the boxes? Or do you think they used their hack clients to unlock them and then relock them like I wasn't going to fucking notice? Th think of how dumb you'd have to be to do this, though. I gave them this location so that they would clear it out so that I could use it. Like, under the guise of, you know, that's the lie I told them. So why would they show up and not break the boxes like I wasn't going to check to see if they're still there? What the fuck? <laughs> this is what I was saying, dude. These guys are not smart. We're going we're gonna to have these guys in the palm of our hand pretty soon. They will be no match for my womanly charms. <laughs> leveling so much faster with my new pick thanks mr x you know i feel like i'm already probably too petty just on average but recent developments are not helping i feel like i'm exceeding even my usual pettiness right now yeah but what are you gonna do how's this for mind games i got both accounts online at the same time i'm almost tempted to argue with myself in the global chat but i think that might be a little too fishy We'll keep that in our back loin cloth for now. The base is still here. Completely untouched. Those have always been backwards. Oh god, the place is haunted. My dancer thrall's alive. You're supposed to be dead. And believe me, I mean that in the nicest way possible. This is actually huge though, because if we can give them our base location, that's the biggest bargaining chip we have. I kind of just expected them to find this and I'd just be gambling with the stashes. Because if we find a base, that's a lot less suspicious than finding a stash, right? So far, this is this is working really well, actually. I'm a little <laughs> I'm a little surprised. They were throwing loot at me earlier today, being very nice. Didn't suspect a thing. I've got my biggest bargaining chip back on the table. Now we just gotta wait for Mr. X to log out. He seems to be the most gullible of the group. So when he's alone, I'll go over there and talk to him. <laughs> Alright, we'll see if he bites. Remember to smile, Kronk. Remember to smile. <sighs> Jesus, it's been a long day, boys. We gotta wake up, get our game face on. This is possibly the most important moment of this entire gambit. Mr. X is alone and unprotected. We're gonna swoop in, use our information that we have, our somewhat suspicious information, to get him to trust us. And we need him to trust us. Because he's going to get banned when the server restarts. And then he's probably going to come back in an alternate account. And I need him to come back and trust me. Because if he trusts me, I can get him to talk, admit that he's evading the ban, and then bada bing bada boom, get the whole group banned. Because if we just report the other guy, he'll get banned, and then these other guys will get a temporary ban. I want to make sure they all get wiped. God knows we've seen enough on this server to say that they all deserve it. Fucking hell. <sighs> Showtime. Start him off with some small talk. Butter him up a little bit. We don't need to rush things just yet. He misspelled my name. I'll misspell it too so he feels better about it. I mean, it's not like it's in the event log or anything, but you know, it's whatever. It's cool. It's fine. Also, what do you mean, who? Wamblor. Wimblet. Wimbledon? You can't ask- Did you find Wamblor's base? Yes, at F7. Who? The f Am I talking to a goldfish? <laughs> Got him. 
Sounds like he's really going through it, huh? <laughs> Maybe he'll let me in. Wouldn't that be fucking nuts? They let me in and I just delete all their stuff? I'd probably get banned with them, but I'll go down with the ship. I mean, for the content, that'd be worth it alone. That was a bit of a long shot, but you know, let's not push it. We don't want him getting antsy. Eyes on the prize, Gronk. <laughs> He's gonna give you more free stuff. <laughs> oh my stars, what a gentleman. Someone catch me before I faint. <laughs> Keep it coming, sweetheart. He is really just emptying his pockets right now. Oh? Juicy details about how much loot we destroyed in their base? <laughs> I gotta do this stuff more often. <laughs> It's like an extended victory lab. I can just sit here and, and listen to their lamentations. What, what a Conan-esque way to celebrate a victory. Man, I lost six chests of this and six chests of everything and three chests of dragon, and now I'm gonna get banned. <laughs> he had any idea who he's talking to. <laughs> so close and yet so far. Is this guy really pulling the the chutzpah of this guy. Yeah, the admins never banned what they're supposed to ban. I'm innocent. What have I done to deserve this? Who does he think he's fooling? Okay, we're finally back on task. I wasn't sure how to steer the conversation back to the <laughs> the base location. Thankfully, he did it for me. So we're on we're on task. Smile, Kronk. Don't forget to smile. What makes me sad is because they ruined experience of two girls who started recently. What a weird thing to type. I I used to have two whole girls at my clan. Two! I'm not an incel. My internet friends called me a king, see? No wonder he's schmoozing up to me so hard. Needs to replace the girls he lost to gain his street cred back. Well, this one's a large hairy man in real life, but as long as that isn't a deal breaker... Uh, perfection. Perf everything is going so perfectly. <laughs> uh, to see you two at the end? I will have my revenge. If this guy had any idea who he was saying that to. <laughs> uh, Mr. X. I'm already Tracer. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I'm sorry, that was awful. I was going to say I'm already two steps ahead of him, but the urge to shitpost took over. Let's get the shit out of my pockets. It's probably got cooties. So far, everything was going according to plan. We completed our gigantic raid, made an alternate account, and engaged in some intense espionage all in the same day. And our enemies had bought our disguise completely, gladly taking the information that we had given about the evil Wamblor, and even going so far as to pay us for it several times. We had earned their trust, and now we just had to capitalize on it. Over the next few days, we'd keep up appearances by logging in on both accounts and letting the server develop as we waited for opportunity. As it turns out, we wouldn't have to wait long. You know, yesterday, I sent in a ticket about that Anubis guy. He's been banned already, very quickly. My tickets are getting very fast responses, but he's already back on a new account. Same Funcom ID and everything. And I'm here in front of their clan's base, wondering to myself, why is it still here? How many, how many playthroughs have I had stolen from me by people abusing the report system to get legitimate players banned? And now that I have an actual clan that deserves to be banned, like it's an entire clan of hackers, an entire server of hackers, really, and I gotta pussyfoot around and follow them and stalk them individually and get them banned one at a time? Why is it easier to get legitimate players banned than groups of hackers? Explain this to me. It's okay, I, I cope by telling myself at least it's content. I mean, I can count on one hand the amount of times I've actually reported people in this game, because I only report people that hack because that's what the system's for. But the irony is, if I wanted to get this clan banned for real, all I would really have to do is report them for land claim. That's all I'd have to do. I'm going above and beyond in actually getting them, like catching them doing something legitimately wrong. No, it's okay, I've got my clown makeup on, I've got my big shoes. No, it's cool, we're playing official Conan, it's fine. And he's back in their clan. Anybody surprised? Anybody? 
Anybody in the back? Nobody? No? Okay, good. I'll send another report. We'll see what happens. Oh, they finally did it! We baited them into wasting explosives on the dummy base. That's a win, boys. That's a win in my book. Not the big win. A win. A small win in a series of wins. <laughs> even better yet, it wasn't even uh, Mr. X's group. It was uh, Penguin Penguin Horde. It was Zurak and uh, Pickpuck. <laughs> Uh, did you get your stuff back, guys? Did you get your uh, any of your loot back? Hmm. Where did that loot wind up? Where did I put it? Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of that loot, though, we should probably get the last of it out and uh, put it to use. This is the last of my loot. Of all the precious loot I had in this entire playthrough, this is all that remains. We're going to trade it in for a bit more information. We got some juice in here though, a couple, a couple hundred dragon powder, some uh, a named arch priest, a little bit of stuff. Not enough for them to like get their stuff back, but you know, like it has to be enough to be painful or else it won't be believable. And you know, what's, what's 200 dragon powder on a 4x server anyways, right? It's been a day or so, so Mr. X is probably on a fresh account. We'll smoke him out, trade this in, and uh, hopefully wrap this shit up. Oh, he is on a new account. What phenomenal news! I'm surprised and delighted. <laughs> there he is. Oh, you dog. You little bin dodger. Also, Blackie? His name is Blackie? What kind of a name is that? I feel like if I said that in the wrong neighborhood, I'd get in trouble. Alright, boys, we're on. Got my game face on. We added each other on Steam, which should be fun later. Well, we've been on the server too long. Today's the day we gotta wrap this shit up. Not gonna be like one of these guys who just keeps buying accounts and squats on the same server for six months in a row. Nope, not gonna catch me doing that. I know what a vagina looks like without having to Google it first. So we gotta be on our A game this time. We gotta coax out everything important and wrap this up. All right, they're filtering in. Looks like they're bringing Penguin Horde. <laughs> I guess they weren't satisfied with my empty pillar base. There was a stash above the dregs with a little smiley face. Look at how happy he is. These guys can't wait to get some revenge against that evil Wombloor. <laughs> God, if I ever see this Wombloor guy, I'm gonna clobber him, YouTube. Oh my God. They're transferring loot before my very eyes. I am so tempted to just take the bag and run. Steady, Kronk. Resist the urge. We're playing for the long game, Kronk. Okay, I forgot to get the unnamed city waypoint, so we're gonna walk there. Okay, fun fact, despite being in a farming spec, this guy does not have 15 agility, so that took a while. I don't know why you would ever not have 15 agility, but it, it's cool, it's cool, it's fine. Yeah, after giving this guy the dragon powder, he'll trust me with his life, guarantee it. They didn't find the chest though, so I'm gonna lead him up there and see if we can't get him talking. He wants us to go back to the sinkhole to pick up Zurak. Isn't that lovely? <sighs> Don't suppose I could convince him to go home and respect first and maybe save us a small fucking eternity? They are both extremely interested in these chests. How lucky that they didn't even go looking for these. Have no fear though, Heather's here to save the day. Isn't it just the darndest thing that I seem to know where everything is? How suspicious, but also useful. He's pledging to give the loot back to the server? What a hero, what a hero. This server doesn't deserve you, Mr. X, what a hero. I like how Mr. X is like, he's very truthful about all the shit that's been stolen, despawned, and Zero's like, oh, we, we didn't lose that much. I mean, it's, it's not really anything important. Mm, I'm pretty sure I took a bit more than 500 dragon powder, my guy. Oh my god, we finally made it. It took so long the sun set, we lost Mr. X halfway through because he couldn't keep up. It was a whole thing. <laughs> uh, this better pay off, I swear to god. What a bizarre and unexpected test of my patience. 
Is it in poor taste to compliment my own hiding spots? I don't think so. I, you know what? I deserve this. Well, they really thought that base was going to be hidden, huh? Well, you thought wrong. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I don't usually check that spot so early on. I just happen to be doing a volcano run. Otherwise, I wouldn't have checked it. Oh, hey, look. They're talking about me. All those bases on one day? Man, who will stop this clan of two to three people known as Wamblor? He seems to be everywhere. Is Mr. X going on about, uh, how, how did he spell it the other day? Revenge? He's going to get his revenge on me. <laughs> and he spent more money on more accounts. What a dweeb. Think of how inverted this situation is, though. He's paying money to look foolish on my YouTube channel, which makes me money. It's like I'm taking money from him in real life. How's that for 4D chess? This conversation's going into weird places. They're telling me about everybody on the server. Which, hey, I'm not complaining. Yes, queen, spill that tea. And spill it they would. This conversation would give us what we were initially looking for, and much more. Though it'll be easier for me to tell you if I do it by voiceover. Essentially, it wasn't anything we didn't already know. Mr. X and Zorak told me in detail about the other hackers on the server. I already knew about them as I wasn't born yesterday, and we had plenty of... Let's call them context clues. Plus, they all talk shit at each other in the global chat the entire playthrough, so it was hard not to notice. Like I said in the beginning, Mr. X and his friends weren't the only cheaters, they just happened to be the ones that stabbed me in the face. But to make a complicated web of autism a little bit simpler, here's the gist of it. The three major groups on the server consist of Mr. X and his buddies, a clan with a Russian name that I can't read, and a third clan with an empty clan name. The Russians have been sporadically fighting Mr. X and company, and according to them have at least one speed hacker. They didn't show me any proof of that, but the Russian clan even talked about their speed hacker early on in the run, so I'm inclined to believe them. Though I was using Google Translate to figure out what they were saying, so take it with a grain of salt. As for the no-name clan, I sat outside their bases many times and never observed any traffic. Turns out it's because they had a flying base. Mr. X sent me an unlisted YouTube video over Steam that proved it pretty conclusively. It's worth noting that this clan also has hackers in it. Not that we really needed the proof to know that everybody on the server was either cheating or playing with cheaters, but it was good to see it laid out so plainly, especially given our initial goal of gathering as much dirt as possible. And so with that, we could call the undercover operation a success. In this one conversation, we had proof that Mr. X had bought accounts to evade his bans, further proof of the various clans collaborating, and concrete proof of other clans building flying bases. But after I logged out for the night, Mr. X messaged me on Steam, and we had a long chat that started on his alt and continued onto his main. A chat that was quite enjoyable for me. We got to further revel in the success of our raid as he explained in detail his troubles. Being raided, nearly rebounding, and then being wiped by us and banned. He went on to plead with me, swearing that he's an honest player, while also saying he's willing to buy 50 accounts and turn on his hacks. Swearing up and down that he did nothing but help players and wasn't toxic at all, even as I watched him bring well over 10 people and hackers to raid solos and duos, while talking shit in the global chat the entire time. He told me he just wanted a happy and healthy server, that there was a place for everybody normal. Of course, the translation is that there was a place for everybody willing to bend over. How can you have a healthy PvP server if you use hacks to kick everybody off the server that PvPs? I even got to enjoy his paranoid theories that Wamblor was connected to the Chinese and the Russians, and possibly even working with Funcom. Don't get me wrong, it was funny to read, but part of me did feel genuinely bad for him. This was a man who, at his core, was tired of being fucked by every server being filled with cheaters and toxic players. And more than most people that play this game, I know exactly how that feels. Especially as a solo, even if I can find a server that isn't filled with hackers, there's always some group of unemployed losers choking the server to death from the keyhole or deserter's gutter, raiding sandstone to live out their power fantasies and abusing reports to get all their competition banned, while simultaneously complaining that the game is dead on the forums and spreading exploits on their YouTube channels. The PvP player base for Conan has been a joke for a very long time, and I do really sympathize with the frustrations that people have with it. But at the end of the day, turning on your own cheats and making things worse is the wrong way to handle it. I was still getting fast responses on my tickets, so as a small act of kindness, I made sure to include the clans that were tormenting him in my reports, using the video he sent as proof and whatever I had in my files. And at the end of our conversation, he said thank you for everything. Oh, 
this man's gonna have trust issues. Now maybe I'm just too soft, but it did make me feel a little guilty for trying to weasel into their clans. If they had made the mistake of letting me in, would I have still deleted all of their things? Yes, yes I would. And if you didn't think that I was gonna delete everything they owned and build a big fat penis outside their base, you haven't been watching this channel very long. But it wouldn't come to that. Within a few days, we got a response to our ticket and logged in to see it for ourselves. <laughs> hey fellas, how you doing? Base looks a little different from the last time I was here. Where's the, uh, were there like 7,000 thralls out here, huh? Where's, where's all the lag? I've got stable frame rate. What happened? Hi, nice fault. We got inside? What are you doing? Oh, hey, where you going? I just want to talk. I want a statement for the channel. How are you doing? Do you enjoy rebuilding every week? What's going on? Did you lose the base? Where's the last place you put it? Maybe I can help you find it. Uh, I'm almost in. I'm gonna get in. <laughs> what do I want? I want you to know it was me. Wombalore. <laughs> eh, fucking dweebs. The hackers were already back on alternate accounts, but we had made our move. For a solo player that hadn't even been on the server a week, we raided the largest alliance there was and got multiple cheater clans wiped and banned, including those guys with the flying base, for those of you curious. But the cycle of autism would continue forever as the cheaters scramble to log back in on alternate accounts and endlessly fight over worthless pixels. But the Wamblor had left his mark, and it was time for him to return to his cell to await yet another playthrough of his favorite video game, Conan Exiles. 